all right welcome back guys now in this one we are going to add the function that will adjust the volume and also mute the volume so how we're going to start is we're going to add event listeners uh so i'll come to my event listeners section and i'm just going to duplicate this once and this first one is going to be for the volume icon so i'll say volume icon and it's going to be a click event that will mute the sound okay so that's how i'll do it and then i'll duplicate this and then i'll add an event listener on the current volume so let me show you what i mean so you know we have this current volume here right which actually represents this slider here so i'll come here and i'll say i'll say current volume dot add event listener and the event i want to listen for is change a change that's when you slide this guy here and uh the function i'll call is to change volume okay great so the two event listeners are in place next thing we need to do is to actually create the functions for them so uh i'll just come down here and I'll actually do it before the uh, autoplay toggle. So I'll just come here and first of all, I'll mute the volume. Or I'll just say mute sound. And so I'll say function. And by the way, this icon here is not actually suitable. Okay. So I will come to my index HTML and let me locate that icon. Uh, okay so this is volume up what i want is actually volume mute okay let me save that and see okay yeah so this is a lot better right it cancels out the volume because that's what it actually does okay so let me come back here and i'll say function and the name of the function is to mute sound okay so what do we want to do well we want to define the track dot volume and we want to set it to be equal to zero okay then the what's it called this value here um 50 we also want to set it to be equal to zero and this value is represented as let me look for the variable um show volume this one here right so i'm going to grab this guy show volume and i would come down here where is it okay yeah this is it so i'll come here and i'll paste that in i'll say show volume dot inner html and i'll set it to be equal to zero okay then also this slider here i'll set the value to also be equal to zero so let me locate that so where is it so i think it's the change volume this um current volume yeah so let me let me be sure yeah it's the current volume so I'll copy that and say current volume. We have so much. So current volume dot value. And I will set it to be equal to zero also. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's test it out. So I would play a song. uh i think something is wrong so let me find out what that is Control shift i okay so it says change volume is not oh i called a function that i'm not using yet uh it happens man let me just let me comment this out for now and save and let's try it out okay so now I'll click on this guy.
and as you can see it has muted the sound okay so of course the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do it such that when you slide this guy the volume would increase okay or decrease whichever one so by the way let me pause this guy first okay so that's what we did here for the change volume so i would uncomment it out and i'll then come down to create the function to change the volume so where did i mute so this is where i muted the sound so down here i would say change volume right and i'll say function not function but function and i want to change volume So here for the change volume well first off we want to set the uh what's it called show volume dot value so remember here we set the show volume dot value to be equal to zero that's this guy here now we are saying the show volume dot value is the text on this paragraph here the blue guy here so here i'm saying show volume dot value should be equal to current volume so current volume so you see it's a variable we defined up so let me just uh, okay anyway let me complete this first so current volume dot value and i'll close so let's see where we define this current volume so i'll right click and go to go to definition so you see here it, the current volume is actually this slider here uh is it yeah it's the slider here that's the current volume dot value okay so i'll come back down here so i'll say that the show volume should be equal to the current volume dot value okay that's one then i'll then say the track dot volume should also be equal to so here i'll say current volume dot value control c and I'll divide it by 100 and then I'll save. So if we come here and let's try and play something and let's reduce it. So you see, it actually reduces the volume, it increases it. Okay. So basically we've been able to set the two um, functions that control the volume one is to change the volume the other is to mute the volume so i think it's okay for us to stop at this point so that we you know keep everything sectioned in the next one we're going to continue the project